Right guys, welcome back to the channel and uh, we are back for some Sunday rugby. It's the Bulls taking up the uh, defending champions, the Pumas today in what should be a really good Curry Cup game. Uh, I know I for one has given a mouthful about the Curry Cup as of recent and uh, for me it's probably almost like the Vodacom Cup used to be back in the day. So uh, yeah, it's... Uh, it's tricky. It's uh, it's the Curry Cup. The Pumas are the defending champions, and we're looking forward to this one. And uh, the Bulls picked a very strong side for this one, and probably want to make a statement today, uh, going further in this competition. So uh, Greville Mallet says, "Boys, we can Bulls. We can do this. Uh, put your hearts into it." Uh, Abbott Bulls supporter there in Greville Mallet. Let's quickly go and have a look at the two team lineups for today's game. Starting with the uh, bull side, so they've decided to go with Karat Stienekamp, Jan Hendrik Wessels, and Francois Kloppers in the front row. So we we all know that it is URC uh, front rows there in Karat Stienekamp and Francois Klopper. Jan Hendrik Wessels, probably one of the most exciting prospects coming out uh, in the last uh, two seasons for this bull side, a youngster looking to really uh, earn his place in a spring of call up, maybe after the World Cup. So uh, a tough task for him. Looking at the lock combination of Jacques Duplessis and Ruan Vermaak, quality all around there. And then uh, looking at the Lustria, Bumzele Makungwana, Reinhard Ludwig, and um, Tlali Mossi. So they decided to go with uh, some experience from the URC and then also using a bit of fringe players for this game, like the likes of Ludwig, youngster coming through. Haven't really impressed me that much yet. So... Uh, Looking forward to seeing him really step up this season. And then a guy like Makungwano coming from the Pumas, getting his opportunity at a bigger union. Uh, the likes of um, Lali Mossi coming from the Cheetahs. And then Jacques Duplessis, also one of the players that haven't really impressed me since coming back from overseas. So a lot of uh, hard work needs to be done up front by these uh, Bulls players. Looking at the back line, Bernard van der Linde, Mornay Stein, then uh, Sabun Kosi and uh, Sibongile Nombuka on the wings. Nombuka, another young prospect coming out of the Blue Bulls uh, uh, junior levels. So looking forward to see what he can do. Likes of Bernard van der Linde. And then uh, the experience of Mornay Stein will be absolutely vital today for this Bull side if they want to win the Pumas. Sabun Kosi in that starting lineup. Supposed to be at the training camp in Cape Town. So not sure what is going on there. Uh, the likes of David Krill and Lionel Marpu in the uh, center combination. David Krill, we all know, a very co a good quality fullback now playing at the inside center. And then Wanda Similani playing at fullback today, which will also be very interesting. Then looking at the uh, the bench for this full side, Lisan Kaboka, Joe Fansel, Mone Smith, Hanko Swanapool, uh, Cameron Hanakom, Keegan Johannes, Chris Smith and Cornell Hendricks. There's a couple of big names there on the bench with Lisa Kaboka, Mona Smith, Anka Swanapul, and Chris Smith and Cornell Hendricks with the likes of uh, the youngster Joe Van Sale and uh, Cameron Hanakum and Keegan Johannes will be looking to uh, stamp their authority in this game as well. Let's go and have a look at the defending champions team lineup for today. Starting with the front row, Kone Furi, Edwin Swart and Jabula Kumedi. We all know that Kone Furi and Edwin Swart, quality players there for this Puma side. Don't know too much about Kumedi, but we will find out today. Then in the lock combination, Dion Slubbert, Shane Kirkwood, a formidable lock combination for this Puma side, with Shane Kirkwood also captaining this uh, Puma side today. The loose trio, Andre Fischer, Frana Kleinans and Quan and Massa. We all know that the Massa and Kleinans quality players, while Andre Fischer will be looking to really showcase his talent today as well. Then uh, looking at the back line for the Spima side, Jovan Sneijman and Tinas de Beer in the halfback combination. We all know the quality of Tinas de Beer. And then on the wings, Jake Stichling and Sebastian de Klerk, who also happens to go to the Bulls next season, is Sebastian de Klerk. So quality there on the wings with the uh, center combination of Alim Jima and Diago Apollos uh, looking to try and counter the likes of uh, David Krill and uh, Lionel Marpu and then Devon Williams. Surprised that he hasn't been wrapped up by one of the URC teams yet. So it will be interesting to see how he's going to fare there. 
looking at the bench, Llewellyn, Klaassen, Etienne Haneke, Simon Roo, Malembe, Mofofu, uh, Rubald van der Merwe, Chris Will, September, Brandon Thompson, and Lundi Nsehu. Uh, not too much known about this bench uh, from my side. Know the likes of Chris Will, September, and Brandon Thompson, but the others are a little bit uh, unknown to me. Looking at uh, another comment coming in, Mark uh, Kania says, Roast chicken in the oven. Looking forward to the Pumas win by eight. Lacquer in Nelspreet. Thanks for the commentary. No problem, Mark. Uh, looking forward to this one. I can't really uh, back anybody at this stage. Um, given the sides that has been selected for this game, I would almost say that the Bulls definitely at home should be favorites to win this game, but not a lot of people in the stands anyway. So you can't really say that this is a home game for them. Maybe know the, the pitch a little bit better, but as far as uh, support goes, uh, not a lot of people today at uh, Loftus First Felt. So the Pumas, defending champions, they will have to show that they're worthy of that uh, position as uh, the Greek was fell very short uh, last, uh, well, Friday night against the Cheetahs, the finalists of last season. The Greek was going down to the Cheetahs quite uh, heavily. So let's hope that the Pumas don't follow suit here today and uh, hopefully we'll get a really good game from this Pumas side. Obviously, uh, coached by Jimmy Stonehouse, uh, a formidable coach and one that uh, really is maybe neglected in SA Rugby himself. Should definitely have been coach of one of the URC franchises, maybe the Lions or even the uh, Sharks who are struggling. But uh, yeah, that's a discussion for another day. Uh, I am Rai Rai says, uh, thanks for streaming these uh, uh, comms, bro. Thanks, uh, I am Rai Rai for the uh, support as well there. So, yeah, we're looking forward to this game. We will start in just a, a few minutes' time. They are busy with the team lineups. For those of you who have missed the team lineups for today's game, we'll quickly run through it again. Gerard Stenekamp, Jan Hendrik Wessels, Francois Klopper, then Jacques Duplessis, Ruan Vermaak. Uh, Pumzilin, Kongwana, Reinhard Ludwig and Tlali Mossi for the Bulls. Backline, Bernard van der Linde, Monet Stein, Sabu Mikosi, David Krill, Lionel Marpu, Sibongile, Numbuko and Wandersiles Similani. Then uh, Kiki uh, Sports says, hi Guru from India. Uh, How is it going, Kiki Sports? Hope you're well and uh, thank you for supporting the channel as well. Let's go through the... Uh, Defending champions lineup just one more time. Kone Puri, Edwin Swart, Jabula, Kumeri, Dion Slappert, Shane Kirkwood, Andre Fushia, Frana Kleinans, and Kwanda de Massa. Then in the back line, we've got Jovan, Sneiman, Dinas de Pierre, Jake Stuchlin, Alin Jima, Thiago Apolis, Sebastian de Clark, and Devin Williams. The team's now running onto the field with the Pumas making their way onto the field uh, first year, led up by Shane Kirkwood. Looking at the two benches for this game, Lisson Kaboka, Joe Fansel, Mornay Smith, Hunker Swanapool, Cameron Hanakom, Keegan Johannes, Chris Smith, and Cornell Hendricks for the Bulls. And then Llewellyn, Klaas, and Etienne Haneke, Simon Rowe, Malembe, Mpofu, uh, Ruvald van der Merwe, Chris Will September, Brandon Thompson, and Lundi Nsejo for the uh, uh, Pumas. So the Bulls mascot making his way onto the field. Don't know what's his name, but uh, this Bulls side will be led out here onto the field by Mornay Stain today. So, uh, yeah, let's see how this game is going to pan out. I'm backing the Bulls to win this game by at least 15 points today, given the team lineup that they've selected for this game. Where the team cohesion, uh, momentum, and uh, everything else goes with the Bulls today, we'll have to wait and see. This Puma side has been together for quite some time, and I had a really good team-building session before the start of the season. So maybe that will uh, give them that momentum that they require to beat this bull side here at Loftus First Felt today. But uh, we're very close to kickoff, guys. It will be uh, the Bulls to get this game underway. And uh, Jaqueni is the uh, referee for today's game. Like I say, not a lot of people here at Loftus First Felt. Not expecting a lot of people. Like I said, the Curry Cup has lost a little bit of its oomph. And maybe more like a Vodacom Cup series uh, nowadays. So it will be the Bulls to get this game underway. And it looks almost like Bernard van der Linde who will get this game underway for us and not Mornay Stein. So interesting choice there for the Bulls to kick this game off. Now, in fact, it will be Mornay Stein who will do the uh, 
kickoff duty here for this both side playing from right to left on my screen and uh, yeah good luck to both teams may the best team win and looking forward to some curry cup action on a sunday here we go Mornay staying with a high deep kick in collected by devon williams of the back and goes to the kick down field almost immediately and what a kick from devon williams it's still going to the corner oh it's a magnificent kick it's five meters up from the try line and that will go as a 50 22. so it will be a pumas line out five meters out from the try line what a start here for the pumas an absolutely magnificent kick from devon williams the fullback of the pumas what a start Chris Boetis says uh, Kom Bille. So lots of full supporters here. It is Edwin Swart to throw this one into the line out for them. Taken by Sebastian de Klerk. And here comes the driving ball from the Pumas early on. It's uh, very static at the moment. Controlled by Edwin Swart at the back of this uh, mall now. Starting to move forward just about a meter now. But they will have to get this one out very quickly now. Oh, it's knocked on by... Uh, the Pumas, and it's going to be a scrum down to the uh, Bulls. Mistake made there by Jovan Snayman, and definitely not the start he would have wanted to this game. A brilliant start for the Pumas with a massive kick from Devin Williams from the kickoff, uh, five meters up from the Bulls' try line. But Jovan Snayman knocks that ball on, can't control it off the back of the mall, and it will be a scrum down to the Bulls, about five meters up from their own try line, 10 meters up from the right hand touch line. A minute and a half gone in this one. Back weight, 899 to the Bulls, 868 to the uh, Pima. So about a 31 kilogram difference there for the Bulls. As uh, the throw into this uh, scrum will come from Bernard van der Linde, but the referee blows on his whistle and we will have a reset uh, scrum here for this Bulls side. Remember, it's the defending champions up against the Bulls today. The Pumas defending Curry Cup champions. Uh, Ockert Kravenstein says, come on Bulls, let's put in a solid performance today. Well, that's probably all we want to see really is a really good performance from both sides in this game. We've seen a magnificent kick from Devin Williams and a poor knock-on from Jovan Snowman. Defeat from Bernard van der Linde, strong scrum here from both teams. As the ball comes out now to David Krill, who sets it up. Good defense from the Puma, still five meters up from the Bulls' try line. As Bernard van der Linde now waiting for it. And a kick over the top, then not, yeah, it's going to find touch round about between the 10 and the 22 meter line. Uh, Dries Boetis says, Game uh, live to TikTok, dan kan je daarom geld maken. So, yeah, Dries, I am making a little bit of money from this uh, stream on YouTube, but uh, yeah, sometimes YouTube being very silly at times and uh, the monetization is pretty poor sometimes. Here comes the uh, Pumas from that lineup, but they've knocked it on again now and the Bulls now having the uh, advantage now from the 22-meter line. It's Jacques Duplessis who takes it up. That ball is going to spill out. And we are going to come back for the initial knock-on from the Pumas. So a set play move not working out there for the Pumas. Knocked on by Corne Fourie from that line out. And it will be a bull scrum about five meters outside of their own 22. Three and a half minutes gone in this uh, encounter. With uh, the Pumas having two early opportunities, but handling have let them down a little bit. Bernard van der Linde now to feed this one in for the Bulls again. Two handling errors from the Pumas, zero from the Bulls so far. Four minutes played in the Scurry Cup uh, clash here from Loftus first felt. Bernard van der Linde to feed it in. That is a massive scrum here from the Pumas. The ball spills out the back for the Bulls. David Krill now is going to straighten the line here for them. Sets it up. Support play not there for the Bulls. And the ball might have been turned over here by the Pumas. It would have been knocked off. Well, it would have been turned over. But just a little knock on from Clayton Hans. Again, from the Pumas. Is going to give a scrum down to the Bulls yet again. Three knock ons from the Pumas within the first five minutes of this game. Has uh, broken down a little bit of their momentum so far in this game. Scrum down to the Bulls again. 
between the 22 and the 10 meter line inside their own half in the middle of the field. It will be Van der Linde to feed this one in again for the Bulls. We've heard his name quite a bit already in this uh, opening five minutes of the game. Is uh, Bernard van der Linde, youngster for this Bulls side. Right, the scrum, this time a lot more solid from the Bulls, trying to uh, milk the penalty here. But uh, the referee's going to blow on his whistle, and they will have a reset scrum again. The Pumas not letting up here at scrum time. Edwin Swart, along with the rest of the forwards, Kone Smith and Jabula Gumedi, doing really good work there up front for this Puma side. Reset scrum again. About six minutes played. Free handling errors already from the Pumas in the opening five minutes of this game. Van Linde to feed this one in for the Bulls in the middle of the field, just outside the 22 of the Bulls. Can uh, we get some action in the Scurry Cup clash? Judge Wenny, the uh, referee for today's game, needs to be very strict at scrum time from here on in. That one is already going sideways now. Off the back, Van der Linde gets it, gets it out to uh, David Krill, out to Wandersilis and Milani, tries to step, brought down. Still about five meters out from the 22 of the Bulls. Moving towards the left-hand side of the field. Here's the Bulls now as uh, Van der Linde waits for it again. Referee uh, says they are. Oh, it's offside here from... Well, no, in fact, it's a little knock-on from the Bulls. So pressure being put on Van der Linde there and uh, paying the price there. It's going to be a Puma scrum down just outside the 22 towards the right-hand side of the field. And uh, another opportunity now for this uh, Puma side. Bernard van der Linde knocking that ball on at the ruck. So, uh, Johan Snowman will be happy with that one after he knocked it on five meters out from the try line a little bit earlier on. Six minutes played and we've already had something like six or seven scrums in this game. Uh, Three or four from knock-ons, and then uh, obviously another three or four from uh, resets. Still no penalty at scrum time. This scrum goes down, and this time Judge Wenny gives a penalty to the Pumas. Five meters outside of the 22, about 20 meters out from the uh, right and touch line. The Pumas with an opportunity to put the first points on the board through uh, Tinas De Beer, who has uh, signaled that he will have a shot at goal here where he's got a minute to uh, take this penalty kick. Seven minutes played in this game between the Bulls and the Pumas, and it's Dennis De Beer now with the opportunity to put the Pumas into the lead for the first time in this game. We've had uh, not too much of action so far in this game. Devin Williams from the kickoff getting a beautiful kick in from about 10 meters outside of his own try line to five meters out from the Bulls' try line. But then the ball got knocked on by Joe Van Sneeman, and from there on, we've just had scrums and scrums and scrums all around. And now a penalty to the Pumas. Just outside the 22, about 20 meters up from the right-hand touchline, it's Tinas de Beer to try and uh, get the first points on the board for the Pumas. Should be an easy kick for uh, Tinas de Beer here. And uh, he struck it well. It's three points to nil. The Pumas lead the Bulls here after seven and a half minutes of play. Can the Pumas get their title defending underway here at Loftus First Felt? Right, Mono staying to get us back underway here from the halfway line. Eight minutes played. The restart then, it's a high hanging kickoff this time. Well taken by Sebastian de Klerk though. Sets it up about uh, five meters inside the 22 towards the middle of the field here as Jovan Sneeman waiting for it. He's going to get it out now to Gumedi, just setting it up there for them. Nowhere to go, really, as uh, Sneeman now goes with a little uh, chip kick over the top. And it's a lovely little kick. The bounce of the ball, oh, Tinas de Beer knocks it on. And now the Bulls have got possession on the halfway line. Can they make something of this? Ngongwana takes it in for them. Now Van der Linde, Mornay Stein out to David Krill. There's space on the left-hand side. Dwayne Sini, Lesa Milani, Smoon Gossi's pass. Been uh, slapped down by the Pumas. And now the kick downfield from uh, Similani. It's going to be collected by Stichling. 
That's Stuchling on the thin middle line inside his own half, up to the halfway line goes Stuchling. Stuchling brought down right on the halfway line, about 15 meters out from the right hand touch line. Now Snyman, Kumeri, Tinas de Pierre. Yes, uh, a chance, or oh, it's been knocked on by Devon Williams, and here comes the chance for the balls now. It's a Milani. He's could go all the way. It's a Milani now, just five meters out from the trial line, brought down by Tinas de Pierre. Right on the right hand touch line here for the balls. Is there going to be a good counter ruck here from the Pumas? No, still Bulls ball as Bernard van der Linde, as well as Jovan Sneijman now trying to fight for that ball on the ground. It will be the Bulls who's going to get possession. Now Mone Stein, flat pass out to Ngunguana. Just about 50, well, 10 meters out. Penalty here to the Bulls. Not rolling away from the Pumas. And it's an easy penalty three-pointer for Mone if he wants to take it. Declan not rolling away. Edwin Swat penalized there. And the Bulls have signaled that they will have a shot at goal here. Right in front of the sticks. Three points to Dole can now become free all here. But a lovely little counter-attack phase play from the Bulls. Almost giving a try to Wanda Silas and Milani. But the cover defense from Tina Stabia was spot on. And now Mornay Stein to add to his beautiful career. 297 uh, kicks all together and uh, make that free all here at Loftus first foul. We've had 11 minutes in this one. Bulls free, the Pumas free. Will we see one of these teams break out in this uh, first half or will it be tight till the very end? Tinas de Beer will restart this one now for the for the Pumas, 11 minutes into this game. It's free all here at the moment. Both teams having an opportunity to uh, score the first try of this game. Tinas de Beer then with the restart. It's a high hanging kick off to the left of the field. Oh, it's been knocked backwards by the Bulls. And now Numbuko takes it up for them. Just inside the 22, the Bulls now. As Van der Linde waits for it. Looks like he's going to go with the box kick over the top now. And looking to find touch, which he will not find. Find Sir Devin Williams now on the halfway line. Here they come. Oh, Devin Williams into over the space. Gets it out to Tina Stabier. Tina Stabier up to the 10 meter line and still going. Gets it out now to uh, Fuchsia. Andre Fuchsia. He's a little bit isolated though. And the ball stolen by the balls between the 10 and the 22 meter line. Kick downfield by Mornay Stay now. And also not going to find touch as he finds uh, the left winger there. Jade Stuchling out to Devon Williams who puts it on the boat looking for that 50-22. But no one near. Straight down the middle of the field. Now one to see the Similani from the 22-meter line is going to have a run here. Up to the 10-meter line he goes. Oh, was there obstruction from him? No, says the referee play on. On the 10-meter line of the Bulls now. David Grill. Grill fends off one. But tackled by Fushia this time round. Now he needs to roll away. Van der Linde on the 10 meter line of the Bulls. Now taken up. Stierna come to Jacques Duplessy. Van der Linde again. Mornay staying going high up into the air. The chase now coming from the Bulls. And it's Nombuku who's done beautifully in the air. Catches that one on the 10 meter line of the Pumas. But the Pumas have ripped that ball on the ground. And now Tina Stapier with a kick downfield. Looking for that 50 22. And he's going to get it as well. Five meters inside the 22 of the Bulls. It will be a line out to the Pumas. A great rip there on the ground. And a brilliant, uh, first of all, take in the air from Nombuko. But then a brilliant tackle and a great steal on the ground from Klein Hans. Got that ball away. And then Devin Williams got it out to Tinas de Beer, who put it on the boot and now got the 50-22. They're about 15 meters out from the Bulls. Trala now. 13 minutes played in this first half. Still anybody's game. Possession going away the ball, 61 to 39. Territory also going away the Puma, 61 to 39. So here comes uh, the Pumas now with driving more. This is looking dangerous for them now. Just 10 meters out from the trial line, but it's gone down illegally. Penalty advantage to the Pumas. Snyman gets it out now to Slavit, sets it up. Now Jovan again. Oh, here's a chance. Kumeri now tackled into touch by Nambuko. So coming back for the penalty. 
5 meters out from the left hand touch line, 10 meters out from the try line. What will the Pumas do? Go for the corner here. Yeah, Tinas de Beer setting it up 5 meters out from the try line. No arms in the tackle, says the referee, was the initial penalty for. Yeah, it was Bernard van der Linde who got pinned there for uh, basically uh, using the shoulder to make the tackle. And now Edwin Swart with the throw in. Who will be the jumper here? It's taken by Sebastian de Klerk off the back. Oh, here comes the first try of the game. It's a lovely set play move from the Pumas. And it's Edwin Swart who goes over in the corner. A brilliant try here from the Pumas. And it's eight points to three with the conversion to come. Catching the bull, sleeping there. A quick, uh, the throw in to uh, um, uh, the captain, Sebastian de Klerk. And then just a little twirl of the back from Andre Fouchier to Edwin Swart on the left-hand corner. Gets the first try of this game. Pumas eight, the bulls three. And what a start from the Pumas now. Finally, Making that uh, pressure into points here in this game. Eight points to three. Conversion to come from the left hand corner here for Tinas de Beer. Probably his most difficult kick of the day. And probably will be his most difficult kick of the game. So let's see what Tinas de Beer can do from here. Eight points to three. The Pumas lead the balls. From the left-hand corner here, Tinas de Beer to try and convert this one for the Pumas. We've had uh, 16 minutes in this game. And the Pumas have struck first with an opening try. That conversion is going to go well to the right. So the score will remain 8 points to 3 for the Pumas. And we've had 16 minutes in this game. What a start to the Pumas uh, Curry Cup defend. Stifle here. As more they stay now, we'll try and uh, get this uh, restart going for the Bulls from the halfway line. Goes high again. The chase coming from Nombuko, but well taken by Jade Stifling. And now Edwin Swart takes it up to just uh, inside the 22 towards the middle of the field here for the Pumas. It is taken up by Slubbert now. Snowman waiting for it. Gets it back to uh, Devin Williams, to uh, Tinas De Beer, who's going to put it on the boot now. Kicks it straight down the middle of the field. One bounce taken beautifully by Mornay Stay now on the 10-meter line. Goes high up into the air. The chase is coming from uh, Similani now. Well, no, nobody really wanted that ball. Knocked on in the end by Tinas De Beer. And uh, it will be a scrum down to the Bulls on the 10-meter line of the Pumas. Eight points to three at the moment. Yeah, just a, a little hand to that one. And then uh, knocked back by the Bulls again into the hands of one of the uh, Pumas players there, Wanda de Massa. So now, scrum down to the Bulls. Just about between the 10 and the 22 of the Pumas. Six handling errors from the Pumas, two from the Bulls so far in this opening 18 minutes of this game. Plenty of uh, errors early on van der Linde to feed this one in or oh, it's going to be a free kick to the pumas there and uh, more relief here for the pumas side as jovan snayman kicks this straight down phil that's way too far and it's gone directly into touch so it will be a line out all the way back for the bulls between the 10 and the 22 of the pumas schoolboy era from jovan snayman that is uh, his second big mistake of this game, is uh, Snayman. First knocking that ball on, five meters up from the trial line, and now this one. As Jan Hendrik Vessels gets the throw to Makongwana, off the back from the Linda Mornay, Stein, Jock Duplessis, just up over the 10 meter line in the middle of the field now. Stein again out to Similani. Similani cuts back on the inside, defended really well by the Pumas. Now Jock Duplessis sets it up again between the 10. And the 22 meter line in the middle of the field. Mornay Stein out to Gerard Stienekamp. Stienekamp sets it up now. Van der Stein gets the flat pass there to uh, Ludwig. A little bit isolated there is the Bulls, but they get it back now. And it's Francois Klopper just up over the 10 in the middle of the field. Van der Stein again. 
out to Lionel Marfu, puts it on the boot. The chase coming from Lionel Marfu himself, but it's well taken by Sebastian de Klerk. Tries to spin over the one, gets the pass out to Devin Williams, who puts it on the boot and not finding touch. Here comes the balls from the halfway line. Mornay staying long, cut a pass. Oh, it's been knocked backwards by Mafuka. Now that where's the Pumas defense? Putting the pressure on him on the halfway line. Can the Bulls uh, keep possession here right on the halfway line? Van der Linde gets it back now. Stain flat pass to Gerard Stienekam. Sets it up in the middle of the field on the halfway line. Van der Linde again. Lionel Marpu. Long cut out pass to Sabu Nukosi. Now Nukosi up to the 10-meter line and still going. Sabu Nukosi gets the pass out to Lionel Marpu on a 22-meter line brought down. And uh, the ball stolen there by Jovan Sneeman gets the kick away. And that's another magnificent kick here from the Pumas. Have that gone over the 22 or just short of the 22? Let's find out. What does the touch judge say? I think it's just short of the 22. So it will be a Bulls lineup uh, about five meters out from the round 22. Well, a great steal there on the ground from Joe Van Sneeman, probably making up for his earlier errors there. But uh, so far, 20 minutes gone, and it's looked pretty good. Brilliant tackle from Sebastian de Klerk there, and then Joe Van Sneeman quickly up over that ball. Jan Hendrik Vessels with a throw in now. Off the back they come. Oh, Jacques Duplessis nearly knocking that ball on. Five meters outside of his own 22 now as the Bulls. Oh, the Pumas have turned this over now. Tinas de Pia, long kind of pass to uh, Sebastian de Klerk, but he knocks it backwards. Under pressure now, it's taken by um, Jima now. Jima trying to make a bit of ground. No, it's Thiago Polis who took that one up. Now Sebastian de Klerk at scrum half on the 10-meter line of the Bulls. A little pop pass from Slabba to Edwin Swart again. Good play here from the Pumas. Tina Stapier, back it comes Andre Sw uh, Pusher. But uh, poor pass there from Devin Williams to Jake Stuchling. Gets the ball over the touchline, and it will be a line up to the Bulls on a 10 meter line. <laughs> uh, Leon Janssen says, Commentator, Prat, with the Afrikaans, my mark. Right, so we'll try and do it like we've done last time. We'll give about five minutes of Afrikaans there, Leon, and we'll see how it goes from there. Not the, the greatest of Afrikaans commentator, but I'll try my best, Leon. Right, so come on, begin so many now. Can, uh, Ons gaan begin hier so met die uh, waterbreek hier so na 20 minuten. So kom ons stop die klok net daar. Dis die waterbreek hier so op Loftus Versveld. Die Bille 3, die Pumas 8. En uh, ons het so ver nie te veel aksie gesê nie. Die, die Pumas het al een paar geleentede laat glip. Die Bille het al een paar geleentede laat glip. En uh, ja, dis hanteerfoute na hanteerfoute op die oomlik hier op Loftus Versveld. Maar uh, die Pumas het weggekom die eerste drie dier Edwin Swart. So, uh, die verdedigende kampioen, die Pumas, op die voortouw, op die oomlik. Water breek hier so. Die Pumas 8, die bille 3, na 21 minuten in hierdie game. Jy sit nie ontrend op die spot nie, Leon. <laughs> uh, English uh, fans, just let me know anytime when I have to go back to English. Sebastian de Klerk, wat net een beetje uh, leedas op die grond krijg, een beetje uh, ondersteuning van die Miris af. Maar uh, ons is nou terug in die game, ons is lijn staan vir die bille op die 10 meter lijn, binnen hulle eie gebied. So kom ons kyk, wat kan die bille van hier af doen? Tijd is terug, en hier kom Van der Linde, Mornay Stein, uit na Jacques Duplessis op die 10 meter lijn, Van der Linde met die klein skopie oor die kop, daar so en... Daai gaan nie uitwees nie, is in Jait Stichling sy hande nou, is uit na Devon uh, Williams, hy skop hem af, middelveld af, en uh, Mornay Stein is terug vir hom, binnen sy 22, sit hem op die skoen, en daai gaan uitwees op die 10 meter stippelein van die Pumas, een baie goeie skop daar, dier Mornay Stein, binnen gaan gegooi dier die Pumas, en hulle skop hem veld af, Hier en gaan Bons, binnen die 22 nou, Mornay Stein is terug vir hom, sit hom weer op die skoen, nie uit nie, en is Tienes de Beer nou, Tienes de Beer, 
Want sy team meter line af, nou gaan vir een klein uh, skoppie oor die kop, hier so, jaag self die bal, is, is Mornay Stein wat terug is vir hom, nou, wanne sê Lisse Milani in besit van die bal? Is die bal onwettig gesteel dier die Pumas op die grond? Nee, hy kom terug na die billese kant toe. Jan Hendrik Wessels, Jaak to plus C weer, tis in die halflijn en die 10 meter lijn van die bille. Mornay Stein met die skoppie afvel, soek die kantlijn op en hy gaan omkry, net kort van die 22, 5 meter buiten die 22 van die Pumas. Het is een lijn staan vir die Pumas. 8 punte, 10 oor 3, die Pumas voort in die bille hier so op loftes vers vel. Ons doen so nog so, wel, ons kan hem traai tot so die dertigste minuut toe uh, in die Afrikaanse kommentaar. Edwan Swart met die lijn staan en gooi hier vir die Pumas, net buiten kan die 22 van die Pumas. Hy lyk een bykie moeg op die oomlik as Edwan Swart. Drie lijn staan en vir die Pumas so ver al drie gewen. Sebastian de Klerk, een bykie onderdruk, daar so, en die bal word gesteel, dier die Pumas, en het, ach, dier die bille, en het uh, Mossie, wat die drie druk vir die bille, na, een baie swak en teervoud van die Pumas, dis ach, elkie so, met die uh, skop om te kom. Dis rare swak van die Pumas, daar so, van die lijn staan, af Sebastian de Klerk, onderdruk, klap die bal terug, in die Pumas gebied, en vandaar af hulle kan nie die bal beheer nie, en, uh, Nslali Mossi krij die bal onder beheer en uh, druk die drie vir die uh, bille. <laughs> Hendrik, uh, nou Noddy sê, die bille speel erger as oma's op die oomlik. Right, so dit is 8 elkie, so na 24 minuut is die spel. Mornay Stein wat gaan probeer om die bille vir die eerste keer in hierdie game voor te sit. Die skop is ontrend so 20 meter van die linkerkantse kantlijn af, net buiten kan die 22. 25 minuten voorbij. En kan die bille nou vir die eerste keer in hierdie wedstrijd voorloop. Mornay Stein wat om anle hier so. En die ene is rechts verby, so die telling bly 8 elk hier so een fout van Mornay Stein wat ons nie elke dag sien nie, en uh, ja, wel, die hele wedstrijd is nou al vol van hanteerfoute gewees, en baie van dit is, is gevolg, dat die telling nou 8 uh, elke sien op die oomlik. Right, Tien is de beer, wat hier die wedstrijd hier onderweg gaan vir ons gaan kry van die halflijn af, nog so 5 minuten oor van uh, Afrikaanse kommentaar mense, gaan ons terug Engels toe, Tien is de beer, met die uh, afskop hier van die halflijn af vir die Pumas. 8 punte elk hier op die oomlik. So hoe inskop diep uh, gevat hier Ludwig daar so op die 22 meter lijn van die linde wat wacht vir hom. Die skrammel van die uh, blauw bille, Bernard van die linde, starige besit wat terugkom vir die bille nou, gaan met die skopie oor die kop en uh, Dit word ingevat daar dier De Maso, terug na Devin Williams toe, nou De Maso, De Maso wat uh, die paas wegkrijg na Jade Stigling toe, ongelukkig trip hy daar oor sy voete op tot by die 10 meter lijn, nou is het Kleinhans, Kleinhans krijg die paas weg na Majima toe, en dan sê het wat zwaar, terug hier kom die Pumas, dit is een 3 in die hoekie vir Joe Van Steyman, en die Pumas is weer voor in die wedstrijd, 13 punte teen oor 8, maar dink hulle gaan nou opgaan, na die TV Skynsrechter toe vir die ene. Die drie is nog nie toegeken nie, maar ek dink die Pumas het om, ek dink die Pumas het om hier so, ach elk op die oomlik. Kom ons kyk wat gaan Jad Gwen nie sê. Dink hulle gaan opgaan om te gaan kyk na hierdie ene, maar ek dink amper, een definitieve drie word hier gedruk. Right, so die drie is toegeken, hulle gaan nie opgaan nie, dis 13 punte teen oor 8 vir die, vir die Pumas. 13 punte teen oor 8 op die oomlik, met so 13 minuutes een speeltijd oor hier in die eerste helft, en wat een wegbreek van die Pumas daar so, briljante werk dier Apollos en Edwan Swart, 
wat die eerste drie van die Pumas gedruk het, en nou Joe van uh, Snyman, wat uiteindelijk die bal raak vang en gaan druk vir die Pumas. 13 punte tegen Oraag, nog so drie minuten oor van Afrikaanse commentaar, en gaan ons terug Engels toe mense, Ik krijg wel Mellet vraag, waar is uh, die Brannas vandag, Guru? Nee, ek bly maar weg van hom af, Krevel, want uh, YouTube is so vol nonsens die laatste tyd. Gister moes ek uh, ophou om te stream. Uh, ek was bezig met die uh, Italië Walliskuim en toe kreeg somme geel monetization kolikie. En toe uh, stop hulle somme my stream en vandaar af te kon ek nou nie weer uitsaai gister nie. So ek weet nie meer wat, wat is recht en wat is nie meer recht nie. So die skop van die Pumas links voorbij daar so 13 punte tegen oor 8 die telling bly. Perro Maravillas uh, is rugby 24 the game that you've been part of developing for the past few years. Uh, yes, Perro. In fact, it is. In fact, that that is the one. Hendrik, no, no, he says skok en bille. So die afskop van morgen is zijn gevat hier die Pumas net by 32. Nou 10 is de beer met die skop afveld. Hy was, die bal was terug in neem in sy 22. So hulle gaan al die pad terug gaan. Na die twee, binnen die 22 vir die lijn staan vir uh, die bille. Swak van Tienus de Beer daar, hy moest beter geweet het. 13 punte tegen oor 8 op die oomlik. Lijn staan vir die bille, 5 meter binnen die 22 van uh, die Pumas. Kom ons kyk die laaste minuut of 2 van die Afrikaanse commentaar hier so. Dan slaan ons weer oor na Engels toe. Jan Hendrik Wessels met die ingooi, kry van Ludwig, oh, dit is aangeslaan door Jacques Duplessis, en uh, soveel hanteerfoute in hierdie wedstrijd. Soveel hanteerfoute in hierdie wedstrijd. Right, kom ek sê jylle wat, dankie uh, Grevel, so kom ons maak het, ek sal tot halftijd toe uh, Afrikaans doen, en dan gaan ons die tweede halfte in Engels doen. Lijn staan daar so, hanteerfout van uh, Jack Duplessis, kram vir die uh, Pumas, nou op die 22 meter stippelijn, binnen hulle eie gebied. Uh, Sparrow, just, just quickly, um, I'm not allowed to say anything, so uh, as much as I would love to tell you something, I'm not allowed, I'm not authorized to say anything, so you've got to have to be patient and wait for the announcements from, uh, from the uh, developing company. Right, guys, kram, ongelukkig, uh, Moet weer oorgedoen word, Chad Quinn is so ver een goeie wedstrijd hier die skynsrechter. 13 punte tegen oor Achiso. En het gaan Joe van Snyman wees wat nou gaan die bal ingooi hier vir die Pumas. Van hulle hier 22 meter lijn af. So 20 meter van die rechterkantse kant lijn af. Hendrik nou na die 6 Bulls need, a, need more a new defense coach. Right, ingegooi daar dier uh, Joe van Snyman in hier die skram. Strafskop hier vir die, vir die Pumas, en die bille krij een bykie swaar hier in die skrams, en het is a, dis a bykie skokkend om te dink dat Owens is Gerard Stenekamp, en uh, Kloppers, en Jan Hendrik Wessels, allemaal deel is van die URC, en sikkel hier so vandag tegen die Pumas. Hulle is nou wel verdedig in die kampioene die Pumas, en hulle is een baie goeie uh, voorhui, en Cornei Fourie, en uh, Edwan Swart, en Goumedi, And also Sparrow asked, do you still have the Chasing the Sun documentary posted anywhere? I would love to rewatch it. Uh, unfortunately, Sparrow, I don't have it. Uh, it was removed on YouTube quite a while ago. So, yeah, um, don't want to run the risk of uh, putting that up again as uh, I might get into trouble this time around. Right, 10 minutes to worry from the first day after. There's too much snow with the line starting from... Van die, uh, wel, net buiten kan die 22 van, tussen die 10 en die 22 van die bille, ingeneem dier Slabbert nou, Fouché, oh, hier kom Sebastian de Kerk, dier terug na Fouché toe, die bal word aangeslaan, ongelukkig dier Fouché daar so, en het kan een skram vir die bille wees, 10 meter van hulle je doelijn af. Wel, wel, wel. Die Puma is nou bezig om ritme te kry, en hierdie eerste helft, die bille wat sikkel, En jy kan die, die glimlach op Jimmy Stone als sy gezicht sien op die oomlik. Fantastische spel dier die Pumas in die laaste 15 minuten van hierdie eerste helft. Rarig bezig om hier die bille spanne, bykie oor aan te sit. Met uh, 
9 minuten oor hier in die eerste helft. Sien die klok het gaan stop hier by my, so kom ons aptijd dit net gegeven daar so. So 8 minuten oor hier van die eerste helft, Bernard van der Linde wat nou die bal gaan ingooi vir die bille. O, is weer groot skram van die Pumas, maar die keer gaan die bille die strafskop kry, die referee sê hulle die skram laat uitbeweeg. Bieke van die wheeling daar so van die Pumas kant af, en die bille nou met die strafskop van ontrein 10 meter uit van hulle eie doelijn af. Morne is stuin met die skop, gaan die kantlijn vind rondom die halflijn, so 5 meter binnen die bille sy gebied, die so met 8 minuten oor in die eerste helft. 13 punte vir die Pumas, 8 punte vir die bille. Kan die bille terugslaan net voor halftijd, hulle is nog net 5 punte achter op die oomlik. Die lijn staan word gesteel door die Pumas nou, Kjouwan Snijman krij dit uit na vir Sjeetien is die beer met die klein skoppie oor die kop, en is die prachtige skoppie daai, maar ongelukkig vir hom gaan die die bons van die paal gaan het die toelaat en hy is oor die doodlijn. So ons kan al die pad terugkom vir een skram van die 10 meter lijn af van die van die bille. Hendrik sê, as bille so speel, gaan ek Frans spreek. Ja, ons mag toch net Frans praat, nee. 13 punte tegen oor 8, so die skram gaan plaas van so 5, wel, so tussen die 10 en die half gebied van die Pumas in die middel van die veld, die so vir die bille. Johan de Bruin sê, briljant guru, briljant, jy kan maar al jou games in Afrikaans uitsaai, dankie Johan. Ek sal het graag wou doen, Johan, maar ongelukkig met met baie van die groot games, baie van my subscribers is ook Engels, en hulle ongelukkig verstaan hulle nie Afrikaans, en anders het ek. Ek het al probeer een Afrikaanse kanaal doen, en ongelukkig het dit nou nie uitgewerk is, so ons sal maar gaan daar waar ons kan. Bernard van der Linde, krij dit uit na David Kreel toe, net oor die 10 meter lijn, en hy gaan nog steeds, dit is een goeie, klein hardloopie daar van hom, maar het word afgedeen dier die Pumas, en hier kom Sebastian de Klerk, de Klerk mag nog net wegwees, hy gaan nie gekeer word die Sebastian de Klerk, en vir die Pumas een derde drie, wel, 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 18 punte tegen oor 8 nou, en die bille kan hulle self skoppies op die oomlik. Die Pumas so gevaarlik op die teenaanval hier so, en Tien is de beer, wen hy bal, uit na Apollos toe, en aan Apollos na Sebastian de Klerk, en as geen keer aan hom, van daar af nie, Jack to Plessy, glad die vinnig genoeg vir dit die, en morgen is Stijn Hoopeloos te oud om hom in te haal. So, die bille nou in een bykie moeilikheid hier so, net voor halftijd. 18 punte tegen oor 8 met die skop om te kom. Leon Janssen sê, dankie Rakpie Guru, ek stem saams, uit saai 40-40 minute buiten taal, dankie, doen uitsteken, dankie Leon. Right, Tien is de beer nou met die skop palen toe hier so, om die Pumas op te skuif na 20 punte toe, met so 5 minute oor hier in die eerste helft, 18 punte tegen oor 8 op die oomlik, die Pumas voor die verdedigende kampioen, besig om die bille oor aan te sit hier op hulle thuisveld, is skokken van die bille, met soveel sterre sal mens glo dat die bille is onderstel om hierdie wedstrijd eenvoudig net makkelijk te wen op die einde van die dag, maar weer eens, die Pumas pan is nou al vir een geruime tyd saam en dit dit wees op die veld op die oomlik. 20 punte tegen oor 8, die sal met 4 minuute oor in die eerste helft. Koenie Akkerman sê, sê klo in die Pumas, Jimmy het gesê, hulle is rek en opgevoed, om hulle positie te verdedig, na hulle keierkie in Namibie. Definitief, ek meen, hulle speel soos een verdedigende kampioen op die oomlik, alhoewel die eerste 20 minuute dag nie so was nie, die laaste 16 minuute of so is, was hulle briljant so ver. Die afskop ingeneem dier Jait Stigling nou, middel van die veld op die 22 meter lijn, Jovan Snijman krij dit uit daar na slabber toe, hy word teruggetakkel daar, dier die wille Snijman weer eens uit na Devin Williams toe met die skop, na die linkerkant van die veld toe, 
van die kantlijn op die halflijn, een paar goede skopje Devin Williams daar zo. Twintig punten tegen oor af met vier minuten oor hier in die eerste helft. Kan die Pumas, hulle eerste kan die kap wedstrijd wen die jaar. Die bille aan die ander kant in die moeilijkheid met sterren op die veld. Gerard Steenekamp, Jan Hendrik Wessels, François Klopper, Jacques Duplessis. Uh, Mornay Stein, Sabu Nukosi, David Kriel, Lionel Mapu en, en Simulani allemaal op die veld. Maar uh, hulle lyk nie wat wonders op die oomlik nie. Lionel Mapu nou in besit op die halflijn hier. Bernard van der Linde, Mornay Stein, David Kriel. Snij aan naar die binnenkant toe. Dat is een prachtige klein breek van hom. Draai die... Uh, Pas uit naar Gerard Steenekamp toe, net oor die 10 meter lijn, nou is die bille. Mornay Stein, terug naar François Klopper. Oh, dat was een klein aanslaan nou van die bille af. Ik denk dat het gekom van François Klopper af in die, in die tackle. Verloor hij die bal en is een scrum vir die Pumas op die 10 meter stippe lijn binnen die gebied. Zwak van die bille. Maar uh, nog ver van klaar af. Die tweede helft kan zeker Jake White gaan met die mannen. Wel, dat is niet Jake White wat met hulle moet praat nie. Dat is Edgar Maratuli wat zal moet praat met zijn mannen halftijd. En uh, definitief die sector moet zwaai daar in die kleedkamer. En die balspan terugkrijgen waar hulle moet wees. Klein uh, breek hier so vir een besering aan een van die Puma spelers. Hendrik nou naar die says, end of the line for Jake. So, just remember Hendrik, it's uh, not Jake White is going to coach this side. It's uh, Edgar Marilatuli. Pierre Gelden, hy says, kom my bille, pelle, dis die weepje hier, maak hy brand een bykie sterker, sien jylle volgende week op loftes. En dan Hendrik says, five losing games in a row. Twee en a half minute oor hier in die eerste helft. Die Pumas waar die bal gaan ingooi hier in die scrum. Jovan Snijman, een van die drie drukkers in die wedstrijd, vir die uh, Puma so ver. Strafskop voordeel nou, vir die Pumas van hierdie scrum af, Snijman uit na Devin Williams, na Tienis de Beer, een prachtige binnenpas, na Jovan Snijman toe, maar hy ondersteuning net die daar, en hy laaste pas nie. Die bal kom terug, toch na die Puma se kant toe, en is Jake Stigling, hy kan toch ingaan vir die hoekie hier so, en hy gaan al die pad om hard loop vir die drie, die vierde drie van die Pumas, maar, uh, ek is amper seker, ons gaan definitief moet gaan kyk na uh, aanslaan daar van die Pumas, een bykie vroeger. Alhoewel, ek dink die skynsrechter het die drie toegeken, en daar is geen keer aan hierdie Pumas span op die oomlik nie. 25 punte tegen oor Achie, so met een minuut en een half oor, die paas, ja, niemand het die bal opgetel nie, toetel, uh, uh, Apollos om op, kry die paas uit na Dick de de Maza toe, en toe van Dick Maza af, na Tjuid Stigling toe. Dit is een prachtige drie dier die Pumas weer eens. Weer eens uitgebuid op een fout van die bulle af. Een minuut oor hier in die eerste helft, 25-8 op die oomlik, met die uh, skop om te kom, recht onder die palie hier vir die uh, bulle. Barry Green says, hi Guru, how's it going Barry? Uh, so far, just doing a little bit of Afrikaans commentary for all the English uh, people watching, but it, I've heard nobody complains, so uh, we'll continue with the Afrikaans for a little bit. Right. This cop can be taken word. Let me see, is it Snyman or is it Devin Williams that this cop can be taken? Tien is the beer, which is a bit of a behandling. We have a lot of cop is over. So 27 punte tegen oor Achiso en uh, die bille in een uh, bykie moeilikheid. Hier so 19 punte achter op die oomlik. Grenville Mallet sê, bille is swak, swak, ek skaal my. My manier, doing a little bit of Afrikaans commentary up until half time and then from half time, after half time we'll do 20 minutes English and then 20 minutes Afrikaans again. Hendrik nou na die 6 adios, verloor maar lekker bille. <laughs> Barry says, I don't understand Afrikaans, I don't know uh, what you're saying, I'm listening, jylle wel. Right, die uh, afskop geneem dier die bille, ingevorderaar dier die Pumas net buiten die 22, 
in die middel van die veld hier op die oomlik. Jovan Snijman krijgt die bal uit na Seb Sebastian de Klerk toe. Nou Jovan Snijman die hoeter gaan in die achtergrond en uh, Devin Williams gaan hem uitskop. So halftijd die Puma 27 die bille 8. En uh, ja dit is wat het is. 27 8 halftijd 4 3 dier die, dier die Pumas bonus punt klaar daar vir hulle. So, ja, en dit is ook waar die Afrikaanse commentaar nou eerst gaan eindig. Uh, to all the unique supporters who kept up, up until now listening to the Afrikaans, thank you for your patience. It is uh, half time at the moment. Yeah, the Pumas leading by 27 points to 8, 4 tries to 1, and uh, some incredible counter-attacking ability from the Pumas in that first half. But in, <laughs> it's amazing. I thought the Bulls were going to come on to the field blow this Puma side away by halftime, and it's absolutely just the opposite here at the moment, at halftime, with the uh, Pumas 27 and the Bulls 8. Incredible. Right, so just going through a few more comments. Uh, Hendrik Nonadi says, Guru is cool, Bulls are horrible. Peter van der Merwe says, I love uh, when the Bulls lose. Stonehouse is a good coach and deserves to win again. Marcel says, yes, Guru, sometimes better for you to talk Afrikaans, well deserved. And then Barry says, not a, not a score you will see every day against the Bulls as we know them to be. And then uh, Grenville says, uh, very time to learn the tall, my bro. Where are you from? You're living in South Africa. So Barry's from, I think, Cape Town, if I'm not wrong. So, uh, yeah, half time here, 27 points to 8. I'm going to take a quick break, but when we do come back, we will be doing the uh, second half of this game. So please don't go anywhere and don't forget to press that like button and subscribe to the channel. See you in a bit.
Right, guys, we are back here for the second half uh, between the uh, Pumas and the Bulls. And at halftime, it's 27 points to eight to the Pumas. And uh, recapping on this first half, it's uh, it's a game of, opportuni of opportunities for the uh, Pumas side as uh, they've really uh, scored, I think, three tries from, well, two, uh, at least two tries were from the counter-attack. And then two tries were really good plan. One from Edwin Keita, uh, not Edwin Keita, Edwin Swart. Then one from uh, Jade Stichling, one from Jovan Sneeman. And uh, not sure who scored the uh, Sebastian de Klerk got the other one. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's been a one-way traffic here for the Pumas in this first half. After it looked for, a, for the first 20 minutes like they're going to really waste their opportunities. And... Uh, not get uh, past this bull side but now having a 19-point lead at halftime it's quite tremendous and uh, i must say it's it's quite tremendous uh kuni i go for you say thank you that the sharks understand um that as a shark supporter so uh yeah that's it makkelijk om uh family to have what uh what you have screen but i must say that the real cup to go is my is my two span the uh stormers so uh yeah that's always lekker om uh that Rivalry to have binnen in die, binnen in die familie. And vooral met vrou lief. Ek, ek, ek sky my vrou as sy moet vir die, vir die weepjes kree. So, sy weet wat goed vaar. Sy is ook maar een shark. Omdat ek half dwing om een te wees. So, ja. Dit is recht al weg in my geval. Um, Antoinette sê, uh, Koenie sê vir jou vrou, sy het een goeie brein en, en hart. En dan... Global Milan says, die bille sal die tweede helft terugpeg, my bloed is blauw. Kom ons hoop vir die bille sy geval, dat hulle wel terugkom hier in die tweede helft en uh, so paar drie van hulle hier druk is wonderlijke spelers in hierdie bil, bilspan en hulle boor, hulle boor terug te slaan hier in die tweede helft. Hulle wel, Jimmy Stonehouse sal halftijd vir sy manne sê, dit gaan uh, definitief uh, baie verg om die bille uit te hou in die tweede helft. So, ja, dit is wat dit is. Um, daar was nog een, my manier sê, ek voel baie jammer vir jou, Koenie. Ja, nee, kijk, uh, ek weet nie wat ek sal doen as uh, vrou lief moet vir, vir die WP's kree, nee. So as ek het toesluit in die kamer en nooit laat uitkom, nee. Barry says, uh, met Guru at the Grand West the evening, I would never forget. Uh, thanks, Barry. Yeah, it's moments like that that uh, really makes it worth my while having this channel and uh, doing the commentary and uh, love doing what I'm doing. I mean, like I, like I said in my intro, rugby and gaming has formed uh, a tremendous part of my life. And uh, probably with either, either one of them, I would be lost. Uh, gaming has given me the opportunity to make a career out of it. While uh, rugby has now given me the opportunity to uh, interact with people on YouTube, do what I love doing, and that's commentary while watching the game. So it's a win-win situation all the time. But yeah, it's great. Antoinette Gerber says, hi, Guru. How's it going, Antoinette? So yeah, back again today after yesterday. Uh, yeah, YouTube got a little bit silly and I had to stop the stream yesterday. Hopefully they don't get silly again today. And uh, we can continue with uh, both this commentary here today for the Bulls and Pumas as well as the uh, game later on between Scotland and uh, Ireland. Basically, South Africa B versus... Uh, Ireland, looking forward to that one. Definitely going to back Scotland to win that game later on today. Don't know about you guys. Kom ons wees so bykie vir Scotland, so bykie ondersteuning. Het is toch maar ons springbok bees van die. So, definitief sien uit na die ene. Dit sien wat Doan van die Merwe en die rest van van die manne kan doen tegen Ierland vandag. Right, so... We're almost ready for the second half here. 27 points to 8. The Bulls uh, trailing the Pumas here from Loftus First Felt. A very empty stadium indeed here at Loftus First Felt. Uh, Antoinette Gerber asked, what's going on with England? So, uh, yeah, an easy answer to your question, Antoinette. You can't change uh, coaches six months out from a World Cup. Uh, you can't let a world-class coach go and uh, replace him with a club uh, club coach, uh, you're going to get this sort of uh, results. And you can't drop your captain, Owen Farrell, and then uh, expect things to go right, you know? So, yeah, it is what it is there for England. And uh, 
they're probably where we were in 2016. Let's hope they pick it up and uh, get better. Barry says uh, Scotland, of course, there's a South African uh, there, LOL. Right, so we're going to get the second half underway now. It is uh, the Bulls who've made a couple of changes. I can see Cornell Hendricks are onto the field. Might be the only change of the, of the second half so far as uh, Tinas de Beer will get us back underway here for the second half of this game. Kicking off from right to left on your screen is the Pumas now for the second half. It's taken in by Jacques Duplessis, and he goes on a little run here between the 22 and the 10-meter line now. Also on the field is Keegan Johannes now for the Bulls. So they have made a couple of changes as this ball side now between the 22 and the 10-meter line. Mono Smith also on the field for Klopper. So about three changes made for the uh, Bulls at halftime. It's taken in by Damaso now for the Pumas. On a 10-meter line inside their own half. Oh, it's knocked on by Gumeri. He has a chance now. Mossi in possession. Just uh, on the halfway line now. Cornell Hendricks. Cornell Hendricks cuts back inside. Gets caught in the defense on the halfway line in the middle of the field. Now Jock Duplessis gets it out to uh, Mono Smith now. Keegan Johannes, one quick possession. Gets out Mono Stain. Comes back for Lionel Marpu. Cuts back on the inside. Just uh, short of the 10-meter line of the Pumas now. Held up in the tackle, comes back again. Keegan Johannes, Mona Stein, Cornell Hendricks. Out it comes now. Similani looking for a little half cap, can't find it quite. Just up over the 10 meter line now. Keegan Johannes, Mona Stein, flat pass to uh, Jock Duplessis. Just up over the 10 meter line of the Pumas now. Keegan Johannes throws a little dummy, gets the pass out to Ludwig. Just uh, shy of the 22 now, the Bulls in the middle of the field. Of course, he gets out to David Krill. Goes with a little chip kick directly into touch. It will be a line out to the Pumas between the 10 and the 22 inside their own half. Do one uh, the the good AJ Frankrijk's record breaking performance has seen. So uh, yeah, I get it has seen and what the uh, what the game that was uh Dwayne uh I can type a wach van Frankrijk af onderskat miskien hoe goed Frankrijk is of ons onderskat miskien hoe swak Engeland is op die oomlik, maar uh, ons sal maar sien. Dan Koenie Akkerman sê, terug na die Pumas glo ek, as die Pumas goed doen in die Karibeker competitie, staan hy kans vir die africhter pos in die bokke na die wereldbeker. Ek waardeer allemaal sy meegevoel, maar liever self kan niks verander nie. Right, so the Bulls actually have a penalty there for an early tackle on the 10 meter line of the Pumas now, with Mone Stein is going to kick this to the uh, corner now for the Bulls. Ja, kijk, ek het altijd, ek het groot lof, Jimmy Stonehouse, ek denk hy is een fantastische africhter, ek, ek, ek raak so kwaad, as, as ek kijk hoe die Sharks voorploeg, en hoe die Leeuws voorploeg, met uh, onervare africhters, en hier sit ons met een van die beste africhters in die wereld, denk ek op die oomlik en Jimmy, en niemand wil hom gebruik nie. Right, so now the Bulls, another penalty from that line out to the Bulls, 10 meters out from the try line, Definitely going to kick this to the corner five meters out from the try line. Can the Bulls strike early in the second half? Dani de Toei says, Bille is pathetisch, hier is pankorte africhter, so speel die Bille loft is leeg genoeg groot na om om wenspan te hee. Ja, nee, kijk, uh, ek er maar in het toelie, weer eens, onervare africhter, en ek meen, wat sal dit geval net om vergeerd smal te hou as africhter van die span? Right, here comes the Bulls now, Five meters out from the trial line. Jan Hendrik Vessels off the back now. Gets the pass out. Here comes Mono Smith. Just a meter short of the trial line. About uh, 10 meters out from the right hand touch line. It's Ludwig. Ludwig still a meter short of the trial line as the Bulls now. Going to work it up. Still short. Now Keegan Johannes waiting for it. Can he get this out? They do get it out now. Still no way through. Morsi. The Bulls try to get over the try line now, working towards the middle of the field. Ludwig again. Jock Duplessis with a pick up and go. Two meters out from the try line. Keegan Johannes flat pass to Jan Hendrik Vessels. Still no way through, right in the middle of the field now. Looks like the Pumas have turned this over, and here comes the counter attack now from the Pumas. Here they come. This is a great break out, and Gima now gets it out the back on the inside. They go, Dinas de Beer. Again, a little pop pass to Damasa. 
He slips, unfortunately, on a 10-meter line on the balls. Go, come back for Joe Van Sneeman. On a 10-meter line, gets the pass out to uh, Paul has the pass out to uh, Devin Williams. Devin Williams, he could go all the way. It's striped out to the Pumas. And surely that could be the game set and match here at Loftus first foul. Try under the sticks for the Pumas. Or not. Yeah, just taking his time to dot that one down. The Pumas over for their fifth try of this game. Unbelievable stuff here for the Pumas. Global Milan says, go Bulls, you can do this. The Bulls will come back and win. My blood is blue. Puni Ackerman, the only downfall for the Pumas is that they don't have the finances on the big of the big franchises like uh, the Lions in the Western Province. Ja, ongelukkig, uh, Kuni, dit is maar altijd die geval van die Griekwas en die Pumas en selfs met die oopje en die grens en al die spanne. Hulle krij talent en dan kan hulle nie hou nie. Maar uh, kijk hier die Pumas span, Devin Williams vir een. Keer Geldenhuis sê, Skoenie, oor twee weke, WP tegen die Sjaaks, dan is jou vrou die baas. Right, so it looks like they're going to go upstairs here to, to have a look at this one. We might uh, see the stripe being overruled again. Thirty-two points to eight. No, in fact, the try has been awarded, and they were just waiting for Tinas de Beer to uh, take this conversion. Thirty-two points to eight with the conversion to come. What I'll do is for the next uh, well fifteen odd minutes, we uh, will be uh, doing the English commentary, and then we will do about ten minutes of Afrikaans again, and then go back to English to uh, finish this one off so it does look like they have stopped the clock and they will have a, a look at something here Tinas de Beer has already placed the ball on the on the tee we can't get any footage of the try at the moment that's the hold up here at Loftus so it looks like they're just going to continue on and Tinas de Beer will take this uh, conversion now time back on the clock it's 34 points to eight. The Pumas lead the Bulls. It's remarkable given the fact that you've got the likes of Gerard Sinekamp, Jan Hendrik Vessels, Jacques Duplessis, uh, the likes of Mornay Stein, Svun Kossi, David Krill, Lionel Mapu, uh, now on to the field, Cornell Hendricks as well, Wanda Silas and Milani. All of these players, URC players, but they just can't pull it today. The restart then uh, taken by the Pumas on the 10 meter line inside their own half here. About 20 meters out from the left hand touch line. They're working this blind side, taken up by Tommaso. The Pumas now playing with a lot of confidence. It's taken up by Corne Furi now. Still on the 10 meter line of the uh, Pumas. Penalty goes the way of the Pumas. Not releasing the ball is on the ground as uh, the ball's been for. And it's unbelievable. 34 points to eight. The defending champions really uh, stepping up a gear here in this uh, Curry Cup encounter. 34 points to eight. Seven minutes played in the second half. And that kick going to go out five meters out from the uh, 22 of the Bulls. Kuni Ackerman says, Piron down naast was miskien baas, maar sy vrou sal net baas wees die dag wat WP speel, maar Thomas sal nog nie telboord dra. Right, so second half it is, seven minutes gone. Joe van Sel now coming on for Jan Hendrik Vessels, as well as uh, Hanekom coming on for Makongwana. So Edwin Swart again, they go with the same move that scored the first try of the game, and guess what, it's another try. To Edwin Swart. The Bulls are shocking today. Goodness gracious me. 39 points to 8 with a conversion to come. Edwin Swart over for his second try with the same set play move that they've scored the first try of the game. Unbelievable stuff. Just out sprinting uh, Mornay Smith there was Edwin Swart. And then David Krill had no chance to stop him. Brilliant drive to the Pumas. Oh, they're going to go upstairs again. 
Well, are they looking for a forward pass now? Try might not be awarded here. Looks like they're struggling with footage of this uh, game on the replay front here, which is also down and there it comes now. So let's have a look here. That ball traveled five, that might have gone forward. Yes, so. Yeah, is there enough evidence to prove that that was not a, tr well, whether that was forward or not? It definitely went to five meters, that's forward, no. Right, so we might have this try not being awarded. So uh, let's go back 32 points to eight. I'm guessing that this will not be awarded. Barry says, Bulls look broken at this point if it goes on. <laughs> right, so they're just checking this, taking quite some time here with this uh, decision here. From what I've seen, it definitely looks forward. So uh, I would say no try. We're coming back for a scrum to the Bulls. Yeah, so the try disallowed then back to 34 points to eight. Eight minutes played in this one. Scrum down to the Bulls. Just outside the round 22. Kuni Ackerman says, Guru uh, Akaiki game on TV. And glo my die bille weet nie waar om te positioneer nie. En die bille en die Puma sien dit. Ja, nee, dat lyk glat nie goed op die oomlik nie, uh, Koenie. Uh, die bille lyk glat nie soos een span, wat uh, enigsins hierdie wedstrijd gaan kan wen nie. Barry says, 34-8, uh, you mean? Ja, that's it. Thanks, uh, thanks for the correction, Barry. 34 points to 8 it is. Scrum down now to the Bulls. Just outside the 22, about five meters from the right hand touchline. It's Keegan Johannes to throw this one in for the uh, Bulls now. What can I do with this one? Keegan Johannes now waiting for the ball. Penalty advantage coming the way of the Bulls now. Cornell Hendricks. It's Mornay Stein. Flat pass to Wanda Silla Similani out to Sabun Nkosi into a bit of space. He cuts back on the inside. But the referee's going to call them back for a forward pass to Nkosi from Similani. So they're coming back for the initial penalty to the Bulls from the scrum. 34-8. Will this Bulls side find their way back in this game? We've seen it before. Uh, the Bulls trailing by a massive amount and then coming back into the second half. That is, that is the greatness of the Curry Cup. You can never be sure of a, of a victory until the very end. The kick from Mornay Stein finds touch between the halfway and the 10-meter line of the Pumas now. Nine minutes gone in this one. Five penalties conceded by the Pumas, four by the Bulls so far. Uh, Joe Fonsell now to throw this one in. Comes to uh, the back now. It's taken by Mornay Smith. Sloppy from the Bulls again from line out. But they do have possession now. It's taken up there by Hanakom now. Still no way through. Keegan Johannes Mornay staying to Cornell Hendricks. Tries to spin out of one. Can't do so. Now Johannes again. Back it comes to Ludwig. Mornay staying. The pass out to Mornay Smith. Back again to Mornay Stein. Now it's uh, taken up by Joe Van Stel. So sloppy from the Bulls. Now knocked on. Edwin uh, Swat takes that ball for the Pumas. Now on the 10-meter line of the Bulls. Joe Van Sneeman out to Damaso. Now Kumedi. Knocked backwards by Clay Nance. Now it's uh, Slubbert out to Devon Williams. Goes with a little cross kick to Sebastian Leclerc. Gets past the first tackle now. Back into Apollos. Back to Joe Van Sneeman on a 22-meter line. Inside now needs support. Gets it out to Clay Nance. The little pop pass to Apollos again. Now here they come. Tina de Beer. Gets it out to Njima. Njima with a cross kick here. Will this work for them? The bounce of the ball. Taken by Slubbert. Gets the pass to Jade Stichling. And it's Clay Nance over for the try. What a try. That could go down as one of the tries of the Curry Cup. Magnificent from the, from the Pumas. Well, I wish everybody else can see this. I will make a plan to try and get this up on YouTube a little bit later for you guys. 
What a try from the Pumas. Andre Fischer for his first Curry Cup try. Wow. Amazing stuff from the Pumas. What ball skills, what great handling, what team play from the skies. Absolutely fantastic. Cross kick from Devin Williams, finds Sebastian the clack, beats one, gets the pass on the inside to Apollos, back to Jovan Sneyman. He's out of support, gets to the ground, gets the pop pass to Kleinhans, gets the pop pass back to Apollos, the pass back to Dion Slava, Dentinus the beard, out to Mjima, goes with a little cross kick. The bounce of the ball into the hands of Slubbert gets the pass back to uh, Steichling, and then it's uh, Fuchsia just who dots over for the try. Brilliant stuff. Definitely going to be hard to beat this for the try of the year in the Curry Cup. We might have just witnessed the try of the year in the Curry Cup in the first game for the defending champions. Oh, Marcel says, I think that the Bulls did not expect that big of a game. The Pumas are looking too, too good to be true. Like Kuni said, the positioning of the Bulls is looking uh, terrible. Gone to the right as that kick. So 39 points to 8, it will remain. And Peter van Amara says, I'm enjoying my Sunday with the score. So it's second half here. And what a game we've seen here. 39 points to 8. The Pumas lead this game. And Jimmy Stonehouse, I think, can't even believe it himself here. 13 minutes gone in the second half. Here they come again now. Corne Furi for the Pumas. Ball has been turned over by the Bulls now. Mono Stein from the halfway line gets it out to Similani. Similani, oh, great tackle from Bushier on the 10 meter line and nearly stolen by Mjima. Oh, it is stolen by the, by the Pumas now. Sebastian de Klerk. Sebastian de Klerk gets past one. Now gets it back now to. Uh, Andre Fushi again, just short of the halfway line as the Pumas. They work it through uh, Tinas de Pierre now. It's Devin Williams, long cut out pass to Jade Stachlan. He's up to the halfway line now. He's brought down by uh, Nkosi. Great counter rack from the Bulls, though. And now the Bulls have got this. It's Hanakom. Gets the pass back on the inside, but it's taken by Kleinhans for the Pumas. Now on the halfway line is the Pumas. Uh, Joe and Snayman waits for it. Gets it out now. Again, uh, the Massa. Slow ball coming back now. Snyman, Tinas, uh, De Beer steps past two defenders, gets the pop pass beautifully to Njima, but the referee says it's gone forward and uh, he's going to come back for a penalty for a high tackle on Tinas De Beer. 14 minutes played in the second half and uh, incredible effort here from the Pumas. <clears throat> Nas May says, Blue Bulls for life, no matter what. Yeah, that's how I love to hear it. No matter what, stay true to your uh, team. Shark Brain says, Yes, Guru, the Shark Brain, never YouTube, never phone. Good to see you again, John. Can you maybe promote us, I believe? Come on, Skype, come on, said, No, some can do. Honor, what would I do to your data? Craig, come on, Skype, go. We said, 112 mensen, what kijk. I don't know how many likes we have, but we have your understanding for the channel, people, and uh, click that like button and subscribe if you want to subscribe with me. I can't seem to get the shark brain, but we'll, we'll try our best. Danny De Toy says, Jake White must believe that you have to prove things with afrikters in the junior span, and not in the Caribbean, because you have lost all our respect and understanding. All our students are all understanders, what is Skanda, Sisman. And then Mamania says 50 over the Bulls, uh, URC team coming up. Yeah, penalty is going to be taken now by uh, Tinas de Beer just from inside the half of the Bulls. That kick is a magnificent strike, and that's an extra three points. 42 points to eight. The Pumas lead the Bulls. Incredible. Yeah, I'm going to have to. Look how to do that shark brain. I can't seem to do it with this with this way. Let's have a look here. Um and it's managing moderator. There we go. Right, we've got it going. So from the kickoff, it's uh, the bulls now have been positioned here as Keegan Johannes have that ball. 
Gets it out now. Mornay staying out to uh, Mossy. Almost up to the 10 meter line of uh, the uh, Pumas now. Keegan Johannes, they're looking like uh, a team without any plan at the moment. Again, Johannes now gets it back to uh, Gerard Stilikam. Mornay staying. Oh, the pass is poor. And it's uh, kicked ahead by Apollos. We could see another try here for the Pumas. It's struck down under the sticks for them. And this bull site looks absolutely pathetic at the moment. The Pumas, 47, the bull's eight. And, uh, yeah, rather let it happen now than happen in the URC. One have to feel. Cornelius Harding says, Bella speel volgende woensdag tien Afrikaans hoor meisie school. Net om te voel hoe dit is om te win. Ja, nee, kijk Cornelius. Ek het lang laas die bullspan so swak gesien, wa. Goedie Akkerman says, wow, dit was nou die drie so ver van die Karibieker hier, die Pumas, jylle span poging. And then Shark Man says, are you still here these days? Yep, he's still here. Right, 47 points to 8 with a conversion to come. 17 minutes gone in the second half. The conversion goes over, it's 49 points to 8 here. And uh, Got about three minutes to go, then we're going to switch over to Afrikaans commentary again to play it out until the 70th minute, and then from there we will go back to English. Oh, Jimmy is a happy man. That smile says everything. Global Milan says he will stand up, stand the carry cup, work in the first game, give any my blood is blow. Yeah, yeah, okay, that is war, uh, Milan. Karibeker wordt nie in die eerste game gewen nie, maar definitief verloor in die eerste game. Right, uh, the Pumas have restart, well, taken that restart beautifully. Now it's Stayman out to the Massa. Just shy of the 10 meter line inside their own half here is uh, the Pumas now. 49 points to 8. Stayman gets it back now to uh, Devin Williams who puts it on the boot. Straight down the middle of the field into the hands. Of uh, Mono stay now. Back it comes to Wanda Silas Similani now. What can he do from here? Tackled by Fushia. Beautiful tackle on him. Keegan Johannes again now. Back to uh, Lisa and Kaboko who's on the field. Johannes again now. Stain back in Corsi. Lionel Marpu spins out a one out. Similani up to the halfway line. Similani tries to go himself and caught on the 10 meter line here of the Pumas. A pick up and go from Malays. Oh no, sorry, it's not Malays. It's going to be a penalty here to uh, the uh, Bulls now on the 10 meter line. Jan Hendrik Vessels is back on the field, sorry. Offside from the Pumas. Shark Prince has had a huge bet on the Bulls to win here. This is shocking from the Bulls. Willem moet hulle skaam, wat is swak begin, sê Johannes Jankies. Desmond sê, surely we shall rebuild in the playoffs. Right, op die noot, kom ons gooi een bykie Afrikaans mense, vir die volgende 10 minute gaan ons so bykie uh, Afrikaanse kommentaarwerk doen nie, so die bille met die strafskop op die 10 meter lijn van die Pumas uitgeskop, so 5 meter binnen kan die 22 van die uh, Pumas nou, as ons sien die eerste plaasvervanger wat opkom vir die Pumas ook, is uh, Op die veld is so Llewellyn Klaassen, wat vir Edwin Swart vervang, like het my. Edwin Swart af, Korne Fourie af, so Etienne Haneke en Llewellyn Klaassen op die veld hier vir die Pumas. Jan Hendrik Wessels met die ingooi vir hierdie lijn staan, 5 meter binnen kan die 22, ingeneem dier uh, vermaak. Nou, hier kom Mossi, terug na Jack to Plessy, so 10 meter uit van die doelijn af. Johannes nou na Mornay Smit. Johannes weer terug. Hierdie keer na Hanne kom toe. Hanne kom word terug gedrijf in hy tackle. Nou Johannes weer na Mornay Stein. Wanda Siles Similani snu na die binnenkant toe. Verdediging van die Pumas hou. 7 meter uit. Strafskop vir die Pumas. Die reiskynsrechter sê dit is Similani wat rol op die grond met die bal. En uh, strafskop vir die Pumas. 5 meter uit van hulle die doelijn af. A chance for the Pumas to be awesome to all of you. 
Rian sê, Eina Bils, hierdie Stommers fan, haat jylle, maar ek wens dit is nie vir my grootste vijande nie. Sjaak Brein sê, alles is beter in Afrikaans, en dan Blaubel Milan, sê, ons het nog 20 minuut oor, ons kan terugkom, Gou Bulls, ek staan achter jylle. Ja, nee, dit is wat ek gesê het, enig van Karri Kap, jy kan enige tyd nog terugkom in die wedstrijd, maar ek dink, 48-8 is een bykie ver, jong. Right, die ingooi nou van Noelen Klaassen, André Fouché achter langs, kry vir Joe van Snijman nou, en Jima wat dit uitkry na Apollos toe, in die middel van die veld, so tussen die 10 en die halfline, nog een strafskop vir die Pumas, die bille wat die wegrol daar nie, en 10 is die beer wat nou die bal kan uitskop vir die Pumas weer eens. Nou my nie as 26 minute van skaamte wat oorblij, Sjaak Brein sê, vir die game drink ek cheap ranne wijn en kook, ook maar goed, ek het die dierwoeskie in die kast gelos. Ja, nee, kijk, ek is maar op die gewone koeldrank vandag, Sjaak Brein. Sal daak moet een doppie klink vir die Puma span. Raad, 18 minute oor in hierdie wedstrijd, die Puma is nou weer eens op die aanval, so net binnen kan die 22 van die bille, een geleentheid om die 50-tal dalk op te bring vir die Puma span. Op die veld vir die bille ook, nummer 20, kom ons kyk vir wie is daai, Cameron, ja, dis Cameron Hanekom, nou André Fouché achterlangs en Jima wat die bal opneem, kry een klein poppaas daar achter toe vir die Puma's, nou, hier kom Sebastian de Klerk, op die 22 meter lijn word hy plat getrek, Jouwan Snijman wacht vir hom so 10 meter van die linkerkantse kantlijn af. Die Puma is nou weer eens op die aanval na die middel van die veld toe. Hy is versie weer net oor die 22 nou, maar die bille kan ook die bal steel. Nee, sê die skuisrechter. Bal kom terug vir die Puma is. Klaasens van het invat. Nou Snijman weer, Tien is de beer. Hy is so'n bykie geisoluit daar, so krij die bal terug. Toch na Klaasen toe weer eens. Nou so 5 meter binnen kan die 22 van die bille. Fouché weer, hy het een monster van een wedstrijd vandag. Snijman terugkom het nou weer eens na die voorspelers toe. Drijf net so 15 meter uit van die doelein nou. Hier kom het in Jima weer eens die bal wat verloren gaan. Hier vir hulle maar Kleinhans stel hem op. En Kleinhans breek toers dier die bille sy verdediging. Vir nog een drie vir die Puma's. Bitterlik swak verdediging van die bille. Lang klaas so patheetiese verdediging gesien van die bille af. 54-8 en kleine aanstrikkie 3, wat definitief die wedstrijd finaal kelder vir die bille span. Franswa kleine aan, soveel uitblinkers vandag in hierdie Puma span. En toch die bille wat, jes, jy het het lang klaas gesien dat hulle so swak verdedig hoor. Breek dier 3 verdedigers eenvoudig soos dit, nie is baie moeite gedoen met dit nie, en hy krij die 300 die tale. 15 minute oor, 54 punte teen oor 8 hier so, en vir julle wat nou net in tune, dis nie een droom nie, ek praat Afrikaans, en die telling is rarig, 56-8. Wel, wel, wel. Koenie Akkerman sê, hier kom een krikketelling, 60-8. Nou my nie, sê, lach my klaar, en dan Theo de Prea sê, die ironie is dat die bolspan goed lyk op papier, maar sak op die veld, definitief. 15 minute oor in hierdie wedstrijd, die afskop weer van Mornijstein, ingeneem dier Subun Nkosi, op die 10 meter stippelein hier vir die bille, so het werk perfect daar vir hulle, Jan Hendrik Wessels nou, uit na Liesung Kabokka, hy het die veel grond wat hy kan maak hier, Johannes nou weer terug na Mornijstein, Mornijstein na Hane kom toe, verdediging van hierdie Pumas, op lijn vandag in hulle win, want die bille krij die strafskop daar so, vinnig het tik dier Keegan Johannes nou, hy gaan ondersteuning nodig hee hier so, nie 10 meter terug hee as die Pumas nou, hier kom hulle nou Liesung Kabokka, hy vaar het op tot by die 22 meter lijn vir die bille, 5 meter van die linkerkantse kantlijn af, maar kyk nou net die Pumas wat oordrijf daar so, en die referee wat op sy fluitkie blaas en hulle terugbring vir een strafskop. 15 minute oor, 
Jack Brain says, Jake White would more say, who is Pak Young? Uh, Peter van der Merwe says, well done, Jimmy and boys. And an F backer, uh, bye, thank you for your African commentary. Men say, cry that Narens elders meer nie. Uh, ja, kijk, uh, ek doen so'n stukkie Afrikaans en dan so'n stukkie Engels en dan gaan ons maar weer van daar af. So ek maar net met uh, sekere wedstrijde wat ons het sal doen. Die bille nou op die aanval, hier so'n so 10 meter, nee, so 5 meter uit van die Pumas het doelijn af. Jan Hendrik Wessels gaan ingooi hier so 14 minute oor in hierdie wedstrijd. Die Pumas nou dier Ludwig gevang daar in die lijn staan. Bille krijg nie eers die, die Molbeweging aan die gang hier so nie. Pumas se verdediging baie sterk op die oomlik. Johannes nou, daar is dit geen pad dier vir die bille op die oomlik nie. Johannes weer, krijg dit uit na Rohan Vermaak toe. Hy was baie stil vandag. Johannes again, Mossi. So 15 meter uit van die doelijn af is die bille nou. Hulle verloor net veel so ver as wat hulle gaan. Mornestein, krijg little... Uh, Skoppie dier daar, so Joe van Snyman terug om hom te keer, kry die paas uit na uh, Devin Williams, nou stigling, hulle gaan sekerlik nie hardlip van hulle doelijn af nie, kry toch die bal uitges, nie, uitgeskop nie, is David Kril wat hom optel, op die 22 meter lijn, op die aanval nou David Kril, kry het uit na Lison Kabokka, word opgeneem dier Hane kom, so 15 meter uit van die doelijn af, strafskop, voordeel vir die blauwe bille nou, wat kan hulle doen van hier af, Een lang aangeer daar na Lionel Mapu na Simbalani toe, maar die bal word afgeneem daar dier die Pumas en ons gaan terug vir nog een strafskop vir die bille. Wel, net die die bille se dag vandag he. 56 punte teen oor 8, want se nog so 3 minute oor van Afrikaanse kommentaar, dan uh, slaan ons weer terug Engels toe. Wat gaan Mornaistein doen? Skop maar palen toe, dat jylle daar net 11 puntjes het, man. <laughs> right, kom ons kyk wat gaan hulle besluit. Die so, hulle weet nie eens wat om te doen nie op die oomlik hier nie, man. Jan Hendrik Wessels, lyk my hulle gaan tap and go hier so. So nie die blauwe bille op die oomlik nie. Jack Duplessis vat het in hier vir die, vir die bille nou, so 15 meter uit van die doelijn af, is Rohan Vermaak nou, hier eens ingeneem. Kegan Johannes terug na Hane kom toe, nou so 5 meter van die doelijn af is die blauwe bille. Pumas' verdediging hou nog steeds stevig, is Liesling Kabokka wat hom verder vat nou. Hane kom weer draai, maar word teruggedraai van die tackle daar so, hier die Pumas. Steeds 5 meter uit van die doelijn af, Kegan Johannes nou, o, oh, het hy hom genok, nee, hy is achter toe, sê die scheidsrechter, speel aan, vermaak na Lionel Mapu, die pas, na sy boon en kos nie nie, goeie ene nie, hy kry hom achter die voet, en nou moet hulle weer probeer aanval van 10 meter uit, die bille definitief nie op hulle beste vandag nie, Mossi, 7 uh, fase is al klaar in hierdie beweging, Liesel Kabokka weer, 9 fase is die bille, Kegan Johannes nou, Conel Hendricks, nergens vir hom om te gaan, hier steeds 10 meter uit van die doelijn af, vermaak met die vinnige pas na Mornay Stein toe, die bille verloor die bal en nie kom die Pumas weer met die bal. Ja, sê die referee, daar is twee aansla, een van die bille en dan een van die Pumas, so skram vir die Pumas, 15 meter uit van die leie doelijn af. And with that, we're gonna go back to English commentary. It's, uh, it's one of those things really today where the Bulls have been really poor and the Pumas have been really good at times. Moerse baas sê, province, province, die karikap kom weer, en dan uh, province is baas. Ja, look, uh, Storm is Western Province rugby, very strong at the moment compared to that of the Bulls and the Sharks, but uh, yeah, the, how about this Puma side? What a performance from Kirkwood as well as uh, the Massa and Klein Hans today. All of them now being replaced here in this last 10 minutes of the game. It's incredible. I thought the scoreboard might be the other way around today when the Bulls named their team for this game. And uh, yeah, at the end of the day, it's the Pumas 56, the Bulls 8, with 10 minutes to go in this one. It's just unbelievable. It's 
going to be a scrum down to the Pumas, uh, about 15 meters out from their own trial line, right in the middle of the field, as they've made also uh, changes now, and onto the field. Uh, the likes of Simon Ro, Mpofu, Ruval van der Merwe, as well as Chris Wall, September, Lundi, Masejo, and Brandon Thompson all on the field now for the Pumas. Scrum feed from September. Scrum goes down, and uh, Judge Wenny says that they will have a reset scrum here. So we've got 10 minutes to play in this one, and uh, 56 points to 8 it is at the moment. Mursaba says, nice score for the Kuya. Game over for the Bella, says JP Miller. Yeah, nee, kijk, uh, this is not all the time for me, as I say. But uh, credit for the Ripuma span today, it was absolutely fantastic. Chris Wall, September then, with the feet to the scrum. For this uh, Puma side. Another big push from the Bulls. Oh, great scrum. But the Pumas do get it out. And now here comes the kick downfield from uh, Brandon Thompson. Not going to find touch. Find Sabun Kossi now. What can he do on the 10 meter line inside Bulls territory? He goes on the run, beats two defenders, but running sideways. Now brought down on the 10 meter line towards the middle of the field. Keegan Johannes now. Back it comes to. Uh, Joe van Sale, who takes it up just up over the 10. Now Mone Stein, David Krill, he's been really poor today. On the 10 middle line again, the, the Bulls now Mone Stein, Lionel Marfu, out to Wandersila Similani. Similani gets the pass out to Hanakom now. Hanakom almost up to the 10 middle line again, inside Bulls territory. Still they come, looking really poor as this Bulls side. Cornell Hendricks caught behind the advantage line, just uh, outside his own 22. The Bulls now knock it on, and here they come again. Is uh, the uh, Pumas they're going to score a try here through Apollos? A great breakout from Llewellyn Clarsons gets the pass out to uh, Apollos, and here's the try. It's 61 points to eight at the moment. Unbelievable. And uh, Jimmy Stonehouse can't believe it. He looks like he wants to cry. That's how proud he is of his boys today. 61 points to 8. Unbelievable. Pierre Geldenay says, Die Bille moest vandag in Engeland gespeel het. And uh, Barry, damn, this is going to be bidding 70 plus points if not careful. And Becker says, Is die Bille vandag speel kan het in die Griffenstalk ben. Moerse baas, David Kriel speel Abali, Rappi, JP Miller, die verskil tussen die rechte bul en die bulls, bulls, <laughs> kak net op naweke. <laughs> ja, uh, my manier says, lach my klaar, en then, then Barry says, I stand corrected. 61 points to 8 here, conversion to come, with 6 minutes to play, oh, oh they clock 8 minutes to play. Conversion, Oh, did he hook that one? That, it's gone over 63 points to 8. So, uh, yeah, that 70 point, uh, well and truly possible, Barry. But what a performance from this Puma side today and a very, very poor performance from the Bulls. Do they want their coaches gone? That's the question now. Normally when a team play as poorly as this with the quality players that they have, Something is wrong upstairs. Mornay staying in with the restart. Taken by Jake Stifling. Thumping tackle from Arnacom on him. Still about 10 meters up from their own trial line as the Pumas now under pressure here. But uh, Chris Will September with his hands on the ball gets it out to Devin Williams. Who's going to put it on the boot. And he will find touch. Round about. Let's see where it's gone out. Between the 10 and the 22 meter line. Marcel Vassun says, I'm telling you, the Pumas have eaten, uh, what, <laughs> fris crispies this morning. Peter van der Merwe is their biggest loss by the Bulls, or have they been worse? Not sure. 
Barry says this reminds me of the 57-15 loss we had. Mornestain was also fly off at the time when the Springboks lost to the All Blacks. Who'll forget it? Here comes the Bulls now at the back. Mornestain, Jock Duplessis on the 10 meter line of the Pumas now in possession. Johannes again gets it out. Stain out to Similani to Sabu Nkosi now. Sabu Nkosi almost up to the 22 meter line, five meters outside now. Here comes the one for Mark now for the Bulls. Five meters out from the 22. Keegan Johannes now back to Hanekom. Still they come now. Mornay Smith this time. Driven back in the tackle from the Pumas. Stain again. Cornell Hendricks. Oh, caught the behind the advantage line again. Mornay Stain's passing not on song today. When it goes wrong for him, it goes terribly wrong as well. Pumas might have turned this over. <coughs> no, still in possession. Taken up by Ludwig. Joe van Sale now. Lionel Marpu with a kick over the top. This could work for him. Gets the pass out. Here comes corner. Hendricks is going to score the try finally for the Bulls here in the second half. And he looks terribly tired and terribly overweight, is uh, Cornell Hendricks. Looks a little bit overweight and a little bit tired, I must say. But the try has been scored and the ball's up to 13 points now. 63 points to 13 at the moment. Quentin de Klerk, Balespiel Puver. Well, they finally managed to get over for their second try of this game. And uh, yeah, it's 63 points to 13 with a conversion to come. Don't forget, guys, we will be doing the uh, Scotland versus Ireland game a little bit later today as well. Um, show your support for the uh, Springbok B team against Ireland a little bit later today. Mornay stay now from the right hand touchline, looking to try and convert this one for them. And that one is going to go straight through the middle. So. 63 points to 15 it is then for the uh, Pumas. We have four minutes to play in this game. Four minutes to play. It's 63 points to 15. Let's have a look if I can find it. Bulls, biggest uh, carry cup loss. Let's have a look. So restart from Brandon Thompson in. And that ball is not taken by the Bulls and it goes into touch. And it's going to, in fact, be a Pumas uh, line out 10 meters out from the trial line. Well, well, they're not showing their worst uh, result. Can't seem to find that anywhere. Right, so the throw in now coming from uh, the Pumas. It's been overthrown and taken by Brandon Thompson, though. Now the Pumas have it, but the referee says there's a knock on from the bull side. So it's going to be scrummed down to the Pumas about 15 meters out from the try line. Yeah, I can't seem to find uh, their worst defeat in the Curry Cup yet. So we'll do a little bit of research on that on another time. Province gaan hierdie vrot beef opvreet jylmaal, says Moerse baas. <laughs> Kom ons kyk, the Pumas in his last uh, three minutes of the game, 63 points to 15. <clears throat> there is an injury break at the moment to one of the players, so... Uh, just adapt that real quickly. There's two minutes left or three minutes left in this one. Just waiting for Hanukkah to come back onto his feet. So it's Crystal September to feed this one in then for the uh, Pumas. 15 meters out from the Bulls try line. Can they bring up the 70 pointer? We'll have to wait and see here. Criswell September to feed this one in for the uh, Pumas. 
15 meters out from the Bulls try line, about 15 meters out from the left hand touch line. Can the, the Pumas get another try? It's Brandon Thompson, Chima straightening the line. <clears throat> He's brought down 10 meters out from the try line. September waiting. Oh, nearly intercepted by Ruan for Mark. Just knocks it on, unfortunately. And it will be another scrum down to the uh, Pumas. Jock Brain says, uh, Mensa, if you work night shift, you must drink Switch because Switch is a sponsor of the Bokka. Yeah, I know what you meant, uh, Barry. Uh, not in a curry cup, but in a franchise history. That was what I was trying to look for, but I can't seem to uh, get the biggest loss. Uh, biggest defeat for Bulls in curry cup history. Let's have a look. Scrum has gone up there, so uh, yeah, no, I can't. It's one of the one of the results that they're keeping away from us at the moment. <laughs> Don't know why, but normally it just pops up when you put in the biggest loss in the history. But uh, it doesn't seem like it's going to happen this time round. By the way, it's a massive loss for the Bulls. Kunis says, I can know my Jimmy Gassel and self high as trots of Simon and Sever two ring mars. Neddy yesterday game in Bayerwerkle in a four, Gelek Pumas in Africans fun. It's a free kick to the Bulls from that scrum with a minute to play. And uh, Dave Davis uh, says, The Bulls' biggest loss was to Natal in the 1990 Curry Cup final. God be, man. Right, so the ball step and go from inside the 22, just playing down this last 30 seconds of the game. Uh, it's going to come out. Mornay Stain to Cornell Hendricks. Long cut out pass to Hanekom. Back on the inside to uh, Mornay uh, Smith. Then again taken up by Ruan for Mark. Can't seem to uh, get anywhere at the moment. A little chip kick over the top from Mornay Stain. Works out for Lisa Kaboka. Comes back to uh, Mornay Stein again. Now Keegan Johannes Similani now trying to run past his defender. Not going to be able to do so. Penalty advantage. Penalty to the Bulls on the 10 meter line. Not quite sure what that was for. Maybe a high tackle. He needs to be a player of the match today. Standout player of the game. Really dictated the way this Puma side played. Global Milan says the Bulls' biggest loss was in 1999. 83 points to 5 against the Natal Sharks. So there you have it. Just confirmation of that from the Global Milan. Danke für die sticky inlichting, Global Milan. So 1999 was the year. 83 points to 5 against the Sharks. Right, so Keegan Johannes now off the back gets it out to Morsi. The Bulls trying to uh, finish this game off with a flourish. Just outside the 22 of the Pumas now. Keegan Johannes, Mornay Stein again going a little cross kick. Works for David Creel. Gets the pass back on the inside to Wanda Samalani who knocks it on. And Evan Williams just pumps it into touch for the end of the game. Well, how about that? How about that? 63 points to 15. And Jimmy Stonehouse is all smiles in the in the uh, coaching box there. What a win for this uh, Puma side. I didn't expect this with the team sheet that the Bulls selected for this game. But at the end of the day, it shows you if you work together as a team and uh, build from the ground up and have a good coach and a good coaching system, then uh, everything else will work out for you as well. So Puma 63, the Bulls 15 final score. Uh, don't forget, guys, I will be doing the uh, Scotland Island game a little bit later on today. 
So if you feel like watching a little bit of uh, Springbok B team in action, you can always join me for the uh, commentary of that game. Uh, congratulations to the Pumas on a pumping victory. Back to the drawing board for the Bulls. And thank you for each and everyone who has showed up to watch this game with me. And uh, also don't forget to press that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Until next time, guys, this is the Rugby Guru. Cheers for now.